Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? I feel like it's been a it's been a long journey, but we're gonna go ahead and end this series. We already know it's a limited series, so this is gonna be the finale. It's not gonna be a season two. We're gonna find out how this story ends, and maybe after this this um this last episode here, maybe we can read into the actual story. Hopefully they give us like some facts to go off of so we don't have to go digging it, digging for it ourselves. But this is We Own This City, episode six. If you just so happen to click on this video and you haven't even heard of the show, we've been talking about it for a while on this channel. So you can go back and watch if you like. So I'm gonna have some stuff to say. I'm gonna have some stuff to say. So it's gonna be some pauses going on and stuff like that. I want to make this more like a live commentary besides like a reaction. I hate that word reaction like when it comes to YouTube. But yeah, this is going to be a live commentary. So we're going to talk about it throughout the show, throughout the, this episode, and uh, especially at the end. So get my final remarks. Y'all ready? My boy, my Sean, Sean Suter. I feel bad for him. Like already, I feel like something's coming. But let's see if, if, the victims of this task crew is justice. Wayne, shh, 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 shh. I know what I'm doing. No! Ah! <laughs> this cocky fool, bro. So this is the first time we actually see Wayne in a hot seat. This is going to be interesting. I know what I'm doing. This proffer session is for purposes of learning what you, Sergeant Jenkins, can offer to the government as cooperation. Well, first off, I'm innocent. <laughs> Sergeant Jenkins, uh, this is an old and wise saying. Oh, look, man, you have a quarter, man. Jenkins showing off already, man. That these things that you think that I've done, these things that you've heard about me, they are false. Completely false. Now, is there misconduct? Sergeant, our, our, our investigation is lengthy and detailed, and the charges against you are corroborated by, as well as a multitude of witnesses. A multitude. Okay, so a multitude of witnesses lied. How about that? <laughs> it's not as I did not plant those drugs on Umar Burley. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. For the sake of argument, you want to tell us who did? Don't put it on Suda. I do not feel like telling you that right now. This proffer is concluded. Oh, no, bro. It's concluded. Even a lawyer looking like. Ma'am, you don't have any questions for me? Yeah, you just wasting their time around. Of course they ain't got no questions, bro. Funny how he made a point of telling us he didn't plant the drugs in the Burley case, of all things. Who would he put it on? The others who were there and wrote on it. Ryan Gwynn and uh, Sean Suter. Oh, crap. You know me from headquarters, Sean, but... Uh, Ah, the detail uh, my man, my man, my man. Or it's your, it's your chance, man. You become a suspect. At this point, it's our assumption that you are a witness. It's your chance, man. Am I going to lose my job over this? Shoot. Shoot. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that at all. Like you could lose everything. This job, which, I mean, it's not even a job, it's like a career. So, I don't know, I don't know what to say. I actually don't know what to say. I think we just got to see how this plays out. Don't fucking move, don't fucking move. Hands on the hood. All right, you're good, you're on. Yo, they found a joint in the alley and put that bitch hey, on me, on, yo. Man, what the fuck are you doing? Why the fuck would you do that? We all just saw you throw that gun with your own right hand. We all just saw it. Get down oh. like that. that. Ain't the kind of police work we do. What you just said on that telephone, that was very disrespectful. These men right here, these men, my detectives, we do things by the book. So, that's kind of what I was talking about in, like, the, the first uh, recap. Like, it, it's... The way they they portraying him is it's like he it's more to like it's not like just black and white it's not like oh he's a crooked cop he's a bad guy but it's, it's like 
parts of him that they're showing, it seems like he, he actually wants to do like good police work, but it's just he got too greedy. So that scene right there, it was confusing at first, but it was like they're showing us that he he actually he's actually trying to get like guns off the street. Even though he did some dirty stuff, it's like I mean, you can't justify like all the dirty stuff he did at all, at all. You know, people lost their, their lives because of that. But it's interesting to see like play out like this. He says that video he taped of us opening the safe is enough to knock your case down. He was saying that if we all just clam up, then you feds can't prove nothing otherwise. Sergeant has lost it, man. I've been trying to get away from Dwayne Jenkins for a while now. <laughs> They just, they just bat the back with the snitching. Police, search for it. Get your hands in the air and step toward me. Oh, they got him too? See, I've, I've learned from my past mistakes, Your Honor. So where were the other three officers? They were, they were positioned on all sides of the vehicle. May I approach Your Honor? Please. Uh-oh. Officers surrounding a car. That's pretty compelling. In fact, I don't see what I can do here. Duh! Did he just get himself in trouble? Wow. Everything he did is coming back on him now. Walters. We talked about it briefly. Real money gets used in the uh, second recap, I believe. That you know that Miss Steele is a fictional character. I just gotta say, man, like the actress. She's the actress. She is beautiful. Beautiful. What is it that you can't say that you need to say? What is the Justice Department? Unwilling to admit. Preach. We long ago lost this war. Preach, preacher. I fought this war, Nicole. I was even good at it and honest when I did it. That guy, that guy, like he, he's a good actor. Like, cause it's to the point. Well, I don't know if, cause I know like Nicole still she supposed to represent, represent us like the viewers. So there um, scenes like that um, scene in a couple of episodes ago. Where he was talking to her about uh, his book, his book about, you know, policing and stuff like that or whatever it was. But just the, w the way he talks, I don't know if if his 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 scenes in the show is just basically him being himself and playing himself, or he's playing the character. That's how good of an actor he is. If he's an actor, I just got to point that up. No, I'm saying that we are the people the police department hunts and kills and captures. And you are bringing me a piece of paper that says there's gonna be new rules on how? That dude reminds me of uh, Kane Carter here on YouTube. Now it begins. The pressure is on. You gotta go fuck something. That's the way that it's delivered to you too. You have to go fuck something. You hear that girls? That becomes the way we see you now. And he's from Baltimore as well, I believe. And he, he also has some crazy stories about Baltimore. If you want to go check out his, his, his older stuff. Hey, Again with the lawyer, bro? I just want to let you know that I'm, I'm done. Yeah, I'm, I'm never going to make another arrest again. And fuck all the shit that, you know, people are saying about me. I don't care about all that, man. It's just, I, I got these fucking bosses, you know, they, they, they. Nah. He, he's clearly he's clearly upset. He's clearly upset. And he about to he about to do something. He about to regret. But y'all, my camera man, is saying it's getting hot on me, so it's about to shut down. Give me a second. All right, y'all, be back with it. So uh, jump straight in. Jump straight in. Yeah, the sun went down and everything. I edited the video. Hey, we jump straight back in. Jump straight back in. These guns. I'm taking all these risks, and I, I just. I don't know, man. I'm just I'm done. Hold on, what just happened there, bro? What just happened? Fuck it. <laughs> I'm done. See you around. I don't know what just happened. If you heard that Wayne stole money or other guys took money, you're gonna have to tell them. If they ask you, you can't hold back. What about his job, though, man? That guy will give him some, t you know, type of security. Here we go with our boy, man. This is where we left off at 
on the last episode. Why like he check on his kids? Yeah, he check on his kids. <sighs> this is scary, man. I put my ass on the line. I get all these fucking guns for commanding, and they go on and they. I, you about to cry? Fuck it. I'm just. I'm. 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 I'm done. I mean, is he? Is he trying to like get out before everything gets too hot? That's what it seems like. Tell you what, you go up and around the corner in case he makes his way out on the road. Don't leave him, man. Don't leave him. Sean, what are you doing, bro? Sean, what? Hit the hardest is like this is you know a true story. Cause it, this is, a, I mean they kind of paint the painted the picture you know clearly that you know it was leading up to, to this but still. I mean there's nothing good you can say about that. I mean I want to say like he. I want to say like. It's clear he had like a, a conscience, unlike the other guys. The other guys just didn't care, but it, it's clear that he cared a lot to take it that far. I mean, but it's, you should, I mean, nobody should never take it that far. I mean, I feel like it was, it was other stuff, other options. You could have, oh, here we go. God, dog. Shoot. Okay. Independent review of. The death of Sean Suter concluded that the detective took, this, took his own life, intentionally staging the event as a death in line of duty. Oh, God, dog. Others were unconvinced and homicide remains the official cause of death. Hold on, what, what do they mean by that? I don't know why, but I was thinking homicide as in like the homicide department. I don't know why I read it like that, but they're saying others were unconvinced and they believe murder was was the official cause of death. And I do say an independent review, so it may not have been official. All right, so they're saying Wayne Jenkins is serving 25 years in federal federal prison. This court sentences you to 12 years. Are you blaming this on? Oh my freaking! It keeps going down and down and down. So 25 Jenkins, Jamel, um, 15 Gundo, 10. I'm in shock right now because if um. The worst, like, outside of Jenkins, the other one, I, I can't even think of his name right now, but y'all know what I'm talking about, like, the cop that, that pretty much just did whatever he wanted to do. His name gonna come to me as soon as they say it, I bet, but if they give him, like, five or less years than everybody else. Should someone have known about this kind of corruption? Absolutely. They should have known. They should have known. Three days before the trial of the remaining gun task force officers, police 
Hello, Police Commissioner Kevin Davis was fired by the mayor. That was the guy we just saw. Okay, so they're saying he resigned after trial witness of coaching an officer, officer in a uh, police shooting. So that was the guy we just saw, you know, carrying the stuff out the, out the office. Back in, um, I think, episode three or something like that, when he was coaching Jamel, like, how to, like, kind of lie his way out of um, the police shooting. We need to move forward in a new direction. Commissioner Daryl D'Souza. I have zero tolerance for corruption. Hold on. Hold on, what? Oh, my, hold up. Is that the... Commissioner Daryl D'Souza. So this is the guy replacing Kevin and he just... I have zero tolerance for corruption. He was just corrupted like the rest of them. The mayor has something to do with it too. The mayor plead guilty to the tax evasion and flaws. She was sentenced to three years. Dang, the mayor went to jail. Madam Mayor went to jail too. God. Is not <sighs> Herschel. That's what I was talking about. Let's see what, what, what Herschel got. Herschel need 30 years. Okay. Okay. I'm scared to read it. I'm scared to read it. Novel defense, Mr. Purpura. Oh, crap. That don't sound good. As the only two officers to go in trial in federal court. Herschel and Taylor were convicted and sentenced to 18 years each. Well, at least it's not under 10. Since 2015, the city has averaged well over 300, 300 slayings in a year, becoming one of the most violent major cities in the United States. The freaking Butterfly effect. We're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it when the episode ends, but the freaking butterfly effect, man. Is this real? Okay, I was like, yeah, that, that can't be real. That's all in his head. So what's the... What we saw in episode one, was that in, in his head too? What I got from like the um, how the series started, you know, with him kind of, you know, training. He was he was in some type of training class. That's what it looks. What it, that's what it looked like in the first episode, like the first scene. Then we got this last scene where he it looked like he was doing the same thing, but in his head he was like talking to all his 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 peers and everybody that he's been involved with throughout the years. So that was. This the scene, last scene from this last last episode. That was for sure in his head. But I, what I took from it, they're trying to say like back on episode one, he wanted to seem like a good cop. He he seems like that's he he just wanted to be praised as a as a good cop. So in a way, he was acting. So all that, I'm sure it did happen. I'm sure that wasn't in his head the first time. But he was just trying to basically. Convinced everybody he was a good cop, even though he he wasn't. And um, I don't even want to speak on like you know, Suter, cause it's a true story. So just um, man, I just you know, if you're a praying person, pray for his family still, even though it's it's an old story. Like I know his family still going through it, so pray for his family. That's all I gotta say about Suter. All of these police officers, you know, all these corrupted cops, you know, names we've got to learn and everything. If all of them, like, as a collective chose to do better, they could have, you know, made Baltimore a safer city. The city hurt more than them as, like, an individual. So that's the sad part. And I'm, I'm really afraid, like, something like this is still going on. Like, this is just the first story. Like... Like, Gundo really set all this off. That's something else I really want to point out in this series. Like, the FBI agents 
if Gondo wasn't so sloppy on the phone, he was like making like drug deals or transactions or whatever, and he kind of just gave them all the information they needed to like open up this case. If Gondo wasn't so sloppy, I don't think a lot of this would be out in the open. I don't think a lot of this would would have, would have been investigated. So knowing that, I feel like a lot of this is still going on. So this this whole series. The message, especially somebody like working in law enforcement, the message this series should should paint for them is it's a bigger picture. It's not just them. It's not just like protecting somebody for that day or that week or that month or that year or years. The more good they do in their career choice, the better for their city. The less good they do, the more they say okay I'm just gonna like use my gun and badge to my advantage that's gonna hurt so many lives may even cause people to lose their lives that they're not even aware of because that butterfly effect I, I'm a strong believer of like everything you do has a consequence and when you when you when you have that much power the consequences are way 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 greater I can't see, oh shoot, I can't see how you want to be a, a, a police officer ever, ever watching this. Not saying like it's a hard job to do, like it's easy to, it's easy to do the right thing, but you got to put your life on the line and you got to like, because say you got to work with somebody like Jenkins, like, like we saw Nicole Steele, you know, again, she's a fictional, fictional character, but after she saw the truth, she just resigned. If I was a police officer and I saw stuff like this going on and my superior, superiors are just corrupt, I'm like, man, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm just out, man. Like, shoot. God, dog. That's all I got, man. If y'all watch up to this point, I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. That's all I got to say, man. <sighs>